So this is the refrigeration cycle. The low pressure, low temperature vapor refrigerant goes into the vapor compressor and it comes out as a high pressure, high temperature vapor refrigerant. From the compressor, the refrigerant comes out as a high temperature, high pressure vapor refrigerant through the discharge line, and then it, which is the hottest part of the whole system. And then it enters into the condenser coil where it rejects heat, rejects heat out of the top of this unit, and it comes out through the liquid line as a subcooled liquid. The liquid line carries the high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant until it hits the metering device, which in this case is a TXV, which lowers the pressure, lowers the temperature of the refrigerant to a low temperature, low pressure liquid refrigerant. The evaporator coil has the low pressure, low temperature liquid refrigerant, 80% liquid, 20% flash gas, enter into the evaporator coil, gets superheated as a vapor, and comes back out as a low temperature, low pressure vapor refrigerant and goes back to the compressor again. All right, there's two parts that separate the high and the low side of the system. One is the metering device. In this case, a thermostatic expansion valve. You can have a piston or orifice here or a capillary tube. And the other thing that separates the high and the low side, this is the low side, this is the high side, is your vapor compressor. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed yourself and see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.